Hello everyone, welcome to Money Control's Ideas for Profit. Today we are going to discuss about the Q2 earnings of Future Supply Chain Solutions and Mahindra Logistics, two of the largest third-party logistics players in the country. Both the companies reported a very strong set of numbers for the quarter two. In terms of the financials, Future Supply Chain Solutions had a 35% growth in the top line. The operating profits came in a bit softer due to the contraction in operating margins. In contrast, uh, the Mahindra Logistics company had an 11% growth in the top line and the expansion in operating margins aided the bottom line as well as the operating profits of the company. Talking about the key highlights of the company, Future Supply Chain Solutions performance was aided by a higher top line. The company added new clients to its kitty in the last quarter as well as the quarter one. So they have added Crompton Greaves, Haldi Rams, Mintra and a few other host of clients to their list of clientele. In terms of the cost, the, the fixed cost increased because of the addition of new warehousing structures and therefore the operating margins came in at 14% compared to levels of around 15.16% in the last year. Uh, in uh, talking about uh, Mahindra Logistics, uh, the performance from the Mahindra Group company, uh, the business from the Mahindra Group company was around 11% higher and the addition of uh, the revenues from the warehousing as well as the value added services aided the expansion in operating margins. The non mahindra business has been uh, stagnating in the past couple of quarters and the company has added a set of new clients to, uh, from a various set of industries to aid the revenue growth from that segment. In terms of the sector outlook, we have a very positive uh, outlook on the sector. So as the third party logistics have maintained a Q1 and Q2 strong earnings momentum and this is expected to continue in the coming quarters as well. We prefer future supply chain solutions as this company has a consumer centric focus and the earnings momentum is expected to continue in the coming quarters as well. The margins are also expected to expand from the current levels as the capacity utilization moves in higher. And the company trades at FY19 earnings of 32 times which appears reasonable for accumulation from a long term perspective. That's it from my side and for more views and updates please log on to moneycontrol.com.